This is the morning shower brought to you by Late Night Hump. Let the news wash over you with Jordan Freed, Brendan O'Brien, and Rena Ezra. These are your shower headlines. A North Korean missile fired from its capital region exploded soon after liftoff in an apparent failed weapons launch on Wednesday, South Korea's military said, amid speculation that the North is preparing to launch its longest-range missile and its most significant provocation in years. The North Korean missile blew up while it was flying at an altitude of less than 20 kilometers, a South Korean military official said, requesting a nominee because he wasn't publicly authorized to speak to media on the issue. Listen, I've seen Encanto, so I know nothing good comes from not talking about the elephant in the room. So let's cut it with this, we don't talk about missiles, nonsense. Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky on Wednesday urged the U.S. Congress to provide more weapons to help his country fight off Russian airstrikes in an invasion that has brought death and destruction and unleashed a wave of refugees. The U.S. Congress responded, Who? Us? You want us to give you guns to fight the big bad bullies and jumpstart our economy? That's something we might be able to work out. Last night on the season finale of The Bachelor, the titular Bachelor, Clayton Eckerd, was rejected by the woman of his choice, the first time this has happened in the show's history. Finally, after 30 seasons, The Bachelor delivered on its promise of starting the show with a bachelor and ending with an actual bachelor. U.S. chipmaker Intel unveiled plans on Tuesday to invest up to 80 billion euro across Europe as part of an ambitious expansion aimed at evening out imbalances in the global semiconductor industry that have led to big chip shortages. Has anybody thought about how these chip shortages might be a result of the legalization of marijuana? For decades, students in Tokyo were forced to follow a strict public school system dress code, which forced all students to dye their hair black, with certain hairstyles being prohibited, and even their underwear had to be a designated color. But these rules, which have recently come under scrutiny and have been criticized as outdated, will now be abolished, the city's authorities announced this week. Good move, Tokyo. It's probably for the best that you keep your opinions out of the hair and underwear of minors. Some Passaic High School students want to raise the rainbow flag on school grounds to celebrate Pride Month, just like they did last year. But this year, there's a hitch. The Passaic Board of Education recently enacted a policy that bans flag displays on school grounds, with exceptions for the red, white, and blue and the New Jersey state flag, which are required by law. Hmm... Maybe for senior prank, they could play Capture the Flag. The Senate unanimously approved a bill on Tuesday that would make daylight savings time permanent, making the House all that stands between longer winter days and later sunrises in the summer. The stance on this bill received overwhelming bipartisan approval with both sides seemingly wanting more sunlight. This is a surprise considering how many blood-sucking vampires are a part of the Senate. A federal judge ruled that minor leaguers are year-round employees who work during training time and found Major League Baseball violated Arizona state minimum wage law and is liable for triple damages. Damn, if they hit it a little farther, they could have gotten home run damages. Chipotle has announced plans to test an AI kitchen assistant named Chippy capable of cooking and seasoning its tortilla chips. The robot has been trained to follow the same technique for creating the chips as with human hands. Ugh, yeah, but that's not the point. It's not about the recipe, Chipotle. It's about eating chips that were made by hands that might not have been washed properly. If I don't have to wonder whether I might get E. coli while eating mediocre tortilla chips, well then where's the fun in that? A 58-year-old Nutley High School substitute teacher was arrested Tuesday and faces charges for allegedly masturbating while teaching, police said. In his defense, he was subbing for the sex ed teacher the week before, so he might have gotten confused. Thank you for showering with us. Lather, rinse, repeat every day before noon. Scrub-a-dub-dub at latenighthump.com.